On the non-metaphorical level, it's clear Colin Kaepernick, if it weren't for his protests during the U.S. anthem, would be playing in the NFL. The Cleveland Browns have run through 25 lesser quarterbacks in 18 years. This year they started with three who'd never won an NFL game. They still haven't. Kaepernick just filed a grievance against team owners for colluding to exclude him due to his views. It's so overt he shouldn't be filing a grievance, he should be filing an axiom. On the metaphorical level, it's dazzling. It's like the revolt of the gladiators. Not literally, figuratively, but almost literally. 70% of NFL players are black. They're brought in from the provinces and inner cities to battle before vast crowds and get carried off, while the elites in their boxes roar for more. Because, you know, today, if you hit too hard, right? They hit too hard, 15 yards, throw him out of the game. They're ruining the game. Right? When one finally stands up, he inspires the others, like Spartacus among the slaves. That's the scary moment for those in power. They say they'll let the rest survive if they surrender their leader. I'm Spartacus! I'm Spartacus! I'm Spartacus! I'm Spartacus! <laughs> then there's hockey's role. They're the other provincials from more distant provinces. Unlike football and basketball players, only 5% are black. They're willing to go to the White House. But even Austin Matthews, just turned 20, says he probably wouldn't protest himself, but understands the right others have to do it. Isn't that one of the amendments? You have the right to say or, or whatever you want. I mean, that's, that's their uh, opinion. That's, you know, they have the right to do that, so um, you know, good for them. This thing could get really dangerous. You can see why they're desperate to stop it. For the Toronto Star, I'm Rick Salutin.